What's up guys? We're back with another edition of DevKit Weekly and this week is dedicated to the Multitech Dragonfly Cellular Developer Kit. If you're looking for an easy way to get your IoT devices and data connected for use cases like real-time alerting, reporting, and management, or just a path forward from older 2G deployments, look no further. The Multitech Dragonfly Developer Kit is an incredibly fast and easy way to evaluate and start wirelessly connecting machines over 3G or 4G networks. Seriously, to begin, all you need to do is install a SIM card on the Dragonfly Cellular Module's micro SIM connector, which is back here, Screw it onto the baseboard, like so, and then hook up to a host PC via a micro USB connection or J-Link and start programming, debugging, and controlling the modem using AT commands. Getting started is really that simple. So once you've done that, you'll be exposed to 4G Cat4, Cat1, Cat M1, or 3G wireless technology courtesy the Multitech Dragonfly embedded cellular modem nestled into this compact 58.4 by 34.9 millimeter module. Different variants of the Dragonfly modems are certified for use in the United States, Canada, Europe, Australia, and globally. Different SKUs also deliver different levels of performance, ranging from 300 kilobits per second downlink speeds and up to 375 kilobits per second uplink speeds on the 3GPP Release 13, or CAT M1, version to 150 megabit per second downlink and 50 megabit per second uplink speeds of the 4G Cat4 device, which happens to be the one we're showcasing here. This Dragonfly, the MTQ L4 G1 V02, comes with HSPA fallback capabilities, supports GPS or GNSS, operates in a wide range of frequency bands from 700 megahertz to 2.6 gigahertz, and is EMC compliant with various FCC, CE Mark, RED, and RCM standards. These and other features come with the ability to put power consumption to bed, as the 5DC input devices have a 539 milliamp max power mode that can be scaled down to a 27 milliamp idle mode and even further to just 562 microamps in sleep or power down states. Members of the Dragonfly family of modems come with an integrated ARM Cortex-M4 CPU with anywhere between 512 kilobytes and 1.5 megabytes of flash memory and 96 kilobytes to 512 kilobytes of SRAM. This allows users to host applications locally and connect them directly to sensors and other peripherals via interfaces that include UART, high-speed USB, and on select models, serial interfaces like SPI, I2C, DIOs, and analog inputs. Connectors, of course, include micro USB and micro SIM, 40 pin board to board connectors, and three UFL connectors for cellular, GPS, and received diversity antennas. Extending beyond the Dragonfly parts and out to the developer board also extends the connectivity offerings, as you'll find Arduino shield headers a serial disconnect header, quick connect socket, the aforementioned USB and J-Link connectors, a jack for the included 9 volt 1.7 amp power supply with region specific blades, a slot for the included 7 inch 3.5 dBi LTE surface mount antenna, and various buttons and indicators. As an added bonus, the development board is also compatible with Multitech's socket modem and MDOT products. But on to developing. The Dragonfly SOMs have been certified for use with the ARM Embed online development environment, which still enables the integration of libraries and fast compilation. Meanwhile, integration with the Pelion device management platform offers a secure path to remote provisioning and control over endpoints that use Dragonfly offerings. But the tool that's probably most relevant to those starting their IoT connectivity journey is the Multitech Connection Manager. Connection Manager is a software tool that helps accelerate the installation, configuration, and management of multi-tech cellular offerings and prevent dropped connections. All of that without using AT commands. Connection Manager is integrated into Windows networking and compatible with Windows 8 and Windows 10, which means that it can automatically detect cellular devices that interface over USB or serial and download and install the latest drivers can also correctly map COM ports to ensure persistent cellular connection. Connection Manager also provides modem details, line charts of data rates and signal levels, and provides a terminal window for troubleshooting, all within an intuitive point-and-click interface. Best of all, it's free for multi-tech users. 
Now, unfortunately, the Dragonfly developer kit is not free. The developer board costs $104.60, and the Dragonfly LTE Cat4 Embedded Cellular SOM, we highlighted here, will set you back an additional $141.65. Both of these are available on shop.multitech.com or from distributors like DigiKey. That's really not a bad price to pay if you're looking to get a feel for 3G and 4G connectivity and build yourself a working IoT monitoring and reporting system, but it's also not free either. If you're looking for free, you'll want to enter the raffle to win this week's kit, where we'll be sending both the Dragonfly developer board and the Dragonfly system on module to someone for zero dollars. Just follow the link on screen or in the description below to enter. Whichever path you choose to acquire the Multitech Dragonfly developer kit, Good luck getting your devices and data connected. Although you probably won't need much luck with this kit. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week on DevKit Weekly.